You're listening to Randomly Relatable SG Where we talk about random things you relate to What's up guys, welcome back to the You're back in the world Today we have a very, very, very special guest today Her name is Nick Salina She is a public figure, podcaster, award-winning <laughs> And a dating and love coach, founder of international brands such as Sex in the Singapore City and Sex in the London City. She has over 30 point nine k followers on Instagram, and she is also recently verified. We have the one and only Sexy Nick Salina. So it's a very, very like long anticipated podcast guest. That, bro, she's the most famous person that replied to us at the start. At the start, yes, yeah. she yes, was yes. the first famous person that replied to us. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, I was, I was very so excited. Yes, I was so excited. Yes, like, because uh, she's an award-winning blogger, man. Yes. So she's like, wow, she is. She is. She is. She's someone who's in the media content creation, social media game for very long. At that yeah. point of time. We were barely one year in. Yeah, yeah. Barely one year in. So like, I wanted to learn more. Mm. And at that point of time, my, my friends were, my, my circle around me, they were buying lunch for like more like successful people. Mentors lah. Uh, mentors. In a way. Like they, 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 the, the thing in my circle is they always buy lunch for successful uh, people and then they have lunch with them. Like invite for coffee kind of yeah, thing, like, right? Oh, coffee yeah. talks. Cute. So I, I said, okay lah, let's have lunch lah. Like, like mm. me, then lunch. Then like, I, I, I want to learn I, I, I want to learn as much like, from, from, from her. Then after that, uh, COVID happened, this and that. And then, uh, yeah, it just, it, 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 it didn't, uh, it, this podcast didn't happen earlier. But now we're here. Thank you so much. We are here. Yes. yes. You want to you you introduce yourself? I think you just did <laughs> quite an epic job. Uh, Good um, shout. Yeah. Good <laughs> shout, guys. <Good. Nice. laughs> Um, kind of used it wrong, but we'll I know, I <laughs> <laughs> but it was a literal good shout. So it's okay. Uh, yeah, Nick Selena, um, Sex in London City girl, doing that for a decade, and then set up Sex in Singapore City. In a decade, okay. yeah, I know. I am really <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but yeah. Oh, I got my blanket. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I started that in two thousand and ten. So. Oh. Hey, guess guess what we were mm. doing in 2010. Oh, God, what? I was in primary five. We just five. started secondary school. We haven't even taken our... Yeah, we were... Guys. We were 13. <laughs> I was we 11. Were 13. We just discovered the internet. <laughs> we, 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 we were still in shorts. Uh. We went to school in shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing a lot more than that. Maybe in 2010. Explain a little what your podcast is about. Or your, or your blog. Like, or, or your, your blog, yeah. Anything, like. Yeah, I guess... It's like dating, I, I call it a women's lifestyle platform, digital platform. So I do dating, sex and love, but I, then I also do fashion, features, events, uh, beauty. So I cover across a broad spectrum, but I'm just extremely well known yeah. for the candid, honest sex, dating and love stuff. Mm. Um, and that's what I did for, for a decade on the blog. And then I brought the blog to Singapore because I felt that there was a gap here for that kind of open Definitely. conversation. Um, sometimes I'm a little too open. <laughs> I'm going to rain that crazy in. <laughs> and I actually didn't have any intention of being a podcaster at oh. all. No, I wanted to, I'm, a, I'm a trained writer, right? So it's my degree. I'm a writer. That's what I do. And I set the blog up and about a month, only a month after, it's 2019, I got an email from someone saying, hey, I'm a producer of a studio and I think, would you consider doing a podcast? There's a niche and I love your stuff. And then a week later, we had a coffee chat. Done. Yeah. Then Sex and Singapore City podcast was sorted. Oh, so you're under someone in your podcast. I have a producer. Ah. Yeah. So he, it's Splice Studios. Uh-huh. Shout out to Ken, heart you. So I go in the studio. I've never heard of them, Splice. 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 Yeah, Splice Studios, yeah. It's the phone app. Oh, that, 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 that was what's my head. My, my, my head was the Splice, the phone yeah. app. Yeah. No. It's a video editing app that, that we use. 
But it's not the same splash, lah. <laughs> no, 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 he's a good guy, and he um, he edits my stuff for me, and he has to listen to my shit, like the poor man, the stuff he hears about yeah. in the studio. And I just come out like, thanks, bye, <laughs> see you soon. But and yeah, he, and he he does everything. He does editing. You just come in to talk. talk. Yep. And for your branding, and then for your marketing, the brand. Yeah, like there obviously there'll be. Imp- I have an input on like the intro music and stuff. We changed that recently. I designed the logo. I got that done myself. So he is, I guess, the yeah, like the technical hub side of it. So we we invited you today because uh, we want to talk about. Uh, a few things lah. Number yeah. one is uh, we just want to meet you because you're a super celebrity. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're really, really you a famous, famous that. Like, Oh my God! Oh, I'm too <laughs> hungover for that. Kind why, of is, why is he so excited? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> now, like, one year later, like, okay lah. If you have met at that point of time, wow, starstruck. Get a little bit mm. so, Okay, so. Yeah, now uh, I'm just a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you're just hungover on our show. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Slap in the care. <laughs> no. I smell some makeup. <laughs> I did sleep so, like, in the we, cab. We, we want to talk about like the expat lifestyle, mm. uh, working in Singapore, working abroad, the difference um culture. Because yeah. the culture with uh with London, right? London. Right? Lifestyle in uh, London, London Singapore. and Singapore. Then also just uh just 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 questions. Uh. Okay. We just we, we want to find out and then maybe our our, our listeners also want to know. Uh. Yeah. Should we start with how I moved here? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh uh, well, where 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 are you from? <laughs> not the actual question I'm from London <laughs> <laughs> I'm from London in the UK um, and I genuine this is genuine I applied for loads of editor jobs online and I had no idea one was an editor role of a magazine in Singapore I had I did not oh. apply, apply yeah it was not intentional and then I just got this email and it was like hey we'd love to Skype you and I remember thinking like why are you gonna Skype me I can just come and meet you and I just scrolled to the bottom and it was like Singapore and I went, I'm not kidding I'm not ashamed to say this I had to go I had to go to Google Maps you didn't know where Singapore was I just didn't know how far away it was from oh my god <laughs> But you knew of the existence. Yeah, but oh, okay, I'm, okay. I'm very bad at geography. Like, okay. I thought Cambodia was in Africa. Ooh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your forefathers came here to, to like, colonize. 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 Yeah, nothing to do with me. Don't. Every time I <laughs> talk to locals, they're like, you British people. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, digress. So I accepted a role as a online dip editor of a magazine here mm-hmm. and uh, it was a really long hiring process and then they gave me the job six weeks later obviously for an EP application and I and I got on a one-way plane and that was as much planning as went into moving here. Oh. Are you not the kind to like plan before big things or? Well, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would imagine that's a, that's a huge move. Uh. It of was. Course. It was. And I just, at the time, I just met my then boyfriend. So I'd been with him a month and I remember saying to him, look, I'm in this interview process with this job in Singapore. Obviously, I'm not going to get it. And I said, obviously, if I do get it, I'm obviously not going to go. And Why? obviously, I got it and I went. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally, oh I'd known God. him a month. And then I was like, I think I'm going to move to Singapore. So, um... What, it, what, what were your reservations about coming here? If, if there were any. Yeah. No, at nah, first nah, she, she, didn't said, she didn't really want to. Eh? That's no, why I, she said to the boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, just to oh, make the feel better. I was like, Singapore! Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Stop painting her face red and white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. stars and <laughs> <laughs> Learning the national anthem. <laughs> yeah, no. No reservations. Honestly, the only reservation I had was that I have a mortgage on a flat in the UK and I have my cat, which I flew over. So that was the only oh. thing. Yeah. Oh, you brought your cat over? Yeah. Three Wasn't it expensive? thousand sing. Oh my God. And then when she arrived, she was like, <laughs> ugh. And then just went and sat in the corner. I was like, are you winding me up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how special you are and how expensive you are. To bring you here. Yeah. She was like, where's my fresh chicken, yo? Fuck this. <laughs> But yes, that was my only reservations, was leaving my baby, leaving my home and, and, and also leaving my brand because the magazine made it very clear it's a com- conflict of interest. So they wouldn't even let me do sex in London City as a hobby in my spare time. They're like, nope, 
you can't. So I had to give my brand, which I've spent over a decade building, to someone else to keep running. Yeah. Hello. Why you put your money in a jar under the pillow? Then where am I supposed to keep my money? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not the wisest thing to do. If you're putting your money in the jar under the pillow, like Shuran, there is a better way. Have you heard of Fire With Him and how he can guide you to invest? What is Fire With Him, you may ask? Fire stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. And who is Im? He is the man to go to if you want to start investing but do not know where, how or what to do. Are you ready to grow your wealth? Invest 60 minutes to make your next 60 months better with Imran C1. Click the link in the description below to find out more. Now, back to the video! So, wait, wait. So, if decade means you started your brand at 15? No, because you said over a decade, right? So, yeah, she, 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 she moved then. here at 25, right? No, Nine. 29. 29. Oh, so 19. Yeah. Uh, tw 2010. Yeah. 2010. Like at that point of time, the brand was, was 10 years old? No, no, no. At that point of time, no lah. Oh. At that point of time, no. Yeah. Now, now it's 10 now years Now it's old. over a decade. Over yeah. a decade. Now I it's yeah. But I was like, I have to hand it over and I don't, like I didn't want to, but like, I had to saw no choice. So it was like, you know, when you get an, a job as an expat it is an all-in process, isn't it? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. And I think it's totally understandable because like the job that you're going into was a conflict of interest. Like you said, it's a media, it's a media job also. So I don't think 7, that 7,000 miles away though. Come on. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it's, it's like, um, for example, me and Sabrina get a job in a company. Do a podcast yeah. in London. Ah. Yeah, and then we have to let go of randomly relatable just... And it's going to be painful, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. like my baby. Yeah. And I got, I just got it to the point, like I'd won, by that point, I'd won eight awards. No, seven. I won when I moved here of like one of the best UK blogs, you know. It was a big deal and I was being paid good money by magazines like Cosmopolitan, Glamour, and then newspapers like the Daily Mail was often working with me. So I felt like I'd finally got it to where I wanted it to be. Yeah. And gave all that up to come to Singapore. Do, 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 you, do you feel like a sellout when you do that? Yeah. Well, also, the thing is as well, is I'd never heard of the magazine, right? I'd never heard of her world before. Yeah. yeah. So I had no idea what I was coming into with that. And, and I was like, like I, I was really struggling to hand it over because I'm quite a control freak with my content as well. Obviously, everyone is with yeah. their own shit. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I was worried that whoever I gave the blog to, I'd be like, you're writing shit. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I guess you know? yeah, so, yeah. And it was hard to watch my baby from afar and know that I can't do anything with it. But honestly, like moving here was outweighs any of the cons, you know, like, okay, I gave up sex and under it's still running. It's yeah. still going. Yeah, it's great. I don't even look at it anymore. I'm like, yeah, you do you, sweetheart, crack on with it. You know, it's still my brand, but it's So you just hired people to write for you, like? Well, I gave it to someone. I appointed oh, a girl, yeah. an editor. I was like, yeah, you run, you run sex in London City now. I still get, like, I'll get emails even now, like, Nick Selena, we want to invite you to this launch. And it'll be like a London. <laughs> 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 no. So I just forward them to her. She does everything. Ah, okay. Um, was, is Singapore one of the top countries? Or have you ever imagined working abroad, especially in Singapore, you know? Yeah, I don't think I realised how lucky I was, to be honest, at the time to work for Singapore. I think... When I, I think working in Singapore as, and it is one of the nicest countries to be in as an expat, but that's purely, I guess, based on my love for the weather. For I love a beach life. Yeah, I never, under, I will never, we will never understand, I guess, because like it's so fucking hot. Yeah. No, you see Singapore as like a beach life. Yeah. Hmm? How? Like, I can go to Bali whenever I want. I can go to Sentosa <laughs> whenever I want. Uh, I can go to Rumours, TVC, like <laughs> pool. Even having my own pool at my condo was like, oh my God, I've made it. I have a pool, <laughs> a community pool. <laughs> you know, it's just, just like mind blowing. I guess yeah, it's in, in, the, in London, I think it's going to be a bit different because the weather is cold and shit and, and just wet every day and just and dark. Fucking miserable, yeah. Is, like, it, is it really very gloomy and there yes. always rain? Like yes. So, and it's like rains that don't rain that doesn't stop. Just yeah. a slight drizzle. Well, that, no, because like, the, the monsoon season here, the rains is intense. Yeah. intense. We don't have rains like that. But oh, 
ours, it, like our winter stays like four or five months. It's just, it's fucking cold rain. It's the difference. Like you get soaked through and you can't warm up. Mm-hmm. Um, and you go to, you wake up and you, it's dark and you go to work and it's dark. You leave the office at night, it's dark. <laughs> I mean, everyone gets depressed, right? There's yeah, no yeah. bit D going on. I guess we, we don't stay long enough in, I mean, like when, when we're on holidays uh, and if, stuff like if, that. If, if like some shows that you, you, you have thoughts of London, of course, the only show I have about London is like uh, Top Boy. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders isn't London. Yeah, it's Birmingham, but like it's that kind of weather. Is that close, is it? Birmingham. No, not really. <laughs> no, it's Yeah, not. it's very far. <laughs> but I, I imagine London being like that. You know what I mean? Like very gloomy. I was so, like, the, only, the only like closest I was supposed to go is like our, our graduation trips are. Because uh, Shuram's uh, university is in North... Newcastle. Newcastle, North... Newcastle. North somewhere? Northumbria. Uh, Northumbria. I've never been. Still never been up there. Newcastle? Never know. Uh, it's alright. Is Jordi, Newcastle Jordi. Near, near London or? No, it's very far. It's, oh, it's, it's, far, it's far, it's far, bro. It's far, it's far. Very, very far. So six weeks of planning coming to Singapore and you just arrived in Singapore. What was that first experience like feeling the hot, humid weather when you first landed? I still remember it now. Yeah. I've got- I was waiting for my hotel room to be ready because it wasn't. And I was on the East Coast. No, I was with my current partner. No idea like where we were, what was going on. And it was just so hot. And I remember saying to him like, I'm going to be so happy here. I'll be just fine. Thank you. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, I, that's how instantly I loved it. Wow. Um, but what I will say though, is like, I didn't have much help to move here. So I didn't know anyone here and I, my partner was here for just one week with me at the hotel and then I was like left to my own devices. So I was like, I had one week to find accommodation and I didn't get like any help from my job. Um, not even, they didn't even pay for my flights. Did <laughs> you didn't, didn't just Google like expat? Expert living in Singapore. Experts living in Singapore. I didn't even. Experts I didn't even get the word expert. I, that wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing. Oh, not for no. I thought it's like a Londoners global thing. working in Singapore. No. Lioness. 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 